Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. Um, this is a short week for us this week, so really not a whole lot going on. Um, I'm only working three days this week uh, due to the Veterans Day holiday that we have here in the U.S. Um, our hospital is going to be not closed, but office workers like me, we get the day off. And I'm off on Fridays normally, so there you go. I'm, I got a long weekend, so. Um, so I thought today, um, just th over this weekend, we received some new switches. These are brand new to me. I've never worked with these switches before. So uh, I thought I'd do an unboxing video, because I don't know if I've done one of those before, and if I have, it's been a while. So these are um, Extreme 5250 switches. Uh, they're uh, supposed to be universal, which means you can run more than one type of uh, networking te technology on them. Um, so these particular ones can run XOS, EXOS, or they can run uh, Fabric. So the new Fabric that we're putting in, we could run these natively on our switches right to the edge if we wanted to. We don't want to. We're not going to do that, but we could. So, um, yeah. Let me open this box up here. I know it's a little low. You won't be able to see it as I'm opening it, but you can trust that it's happening. Okay. The well-sealed, super-thick cardboard that Extreme loves to use. I am currently a weakling. So I can't break through tape. All right. So, as we open the box, first thing on top is this box, another box. Hmm, most peculiar. Not really. So inside this one you got, you know, regulatory junk that nobody ever reads. I never read them. We have the mounting ears. So these, these go on the front. And then, if there are two post racks, then you can mount them whichever way you need to. And for four post racks, these are the rear mounting rails. So, see? There they are. And there's that one. So, very important to set those aside. Also in this box, um, a set of rubber feet, in case you want to mount it on a table. Some people do. A uh, set of screws. These are for the, uh, these are for the mounting ears. And a second set of screws, which have, uh, some of that blue goo, uh, like, uh, Loctite stuff on it. I don't know what those are for. What the second set is for. I'll have to read the instructions. And, of course, the console cable. We got that. So I'm going to set all this stuff aside here. Take this box and file it under to be put into cardboard waste. All right. Then, continuing on in here, it's the switches, you know, inside this styrofoam packing stuff. More styrofoam packing stuff. switch. Hold out of here. Sanitized for my protection. It's really cramped in here. Sorry. This is the best filming I could do. So we got the front of the switch right here. Um, this little doohickey here, you can pull it out and see the uh, serial number info. Um, it's got that tape down so it doesn't just come out whenever. Um, you have a 
blank for a Vim module right here. Got the 48 ports. You got the uh, it's got a USB port. So if you have a US thumb drive, you can stick that in there. You can copy log files off. You can update firmware. Um, you can do all kinds of good stuff. Uh, it's got a USB C connector up here for your console cable. If you want to console in from the front, as I usually do. And then, so on the back here, now we have another USB port, another console port, which is the type I normally like to use, and uh, you got the uh, management network port there. Um, those are fans, those are hot swappable. Interestingly enough, most of the stuff on here is hot swappable. This Vim module on the front, not hot swappable. Um, and the other thing is that uh, that open port there, that's where the uh, power supply will go. And then right next to it is a blank that I can remove for the other power supply, which I have. So, let's set this here precariously. Yes, no, maybe. I'm going to drop my brand new switch. All right, we won't do that. Well, let me get a power supply. It's over here in these boxes. Sorry. Sorry for the blank gear time there. There we go. So the power supplies come separately. As you can see, these switches are some assembly required. And uh, inside these, more styrofoam packaging, more regulatory and stuff that I never read. Here's the power supply. So we open this all up. Get it out of this packaging. And let me get this set up so you guys can watch it go in. That sounded so wrong. Anyway, um, so yeah, position it like this, slide it on in, is that right? Do I? Do I? Yeah, that's right. There we go. I'm going at it at an odd angle. It just slides in, locks. Uh, to take it out, you push this tab this tab and with your good arm you pull it up. Uh, now we, we ordered uh, dual power supplies for these so we're going to take this blank panel. <laughs> My other switch is that it was screwed in. These it's nice it just pulls out. So now we have another another void to fill. So let me get the other power supply out. the other power supplies. This is what they look like. There's the power connector on the inside. They have a fan as well. This side we got the power cord goes in there. We got this guy to uh, lock the power cord in. So it wraps around the power cord this way and then you can slide that back and forth to pull it in securely and then the green locking tab to remove everything. So there you go. That's what that looks like. And here's what the uh, end connector looks like. So this thing this again with my good arm just to drop it right in. So there you go. Dual power supplies. Um, and one other thing I need to add is the Vim module on the front. So let me find one. Is this it? Uh, let's see. I can't remember which box I took them out yesterday. I put one in. Don't ever get old. Oh, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, 
those are mounting ears. I don't want to read my own boxes here. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> A box that says Vim on it. safely away so I don't put my eye out. Same thing, box, packaging, regulatory information, and the module. So again, I'll just take this out. This is what the VIM module looks like. It's basically four um, SFP connectors. You can use these for either uplinks or stacking. It gives you a little uh, mounting ear for uh, you know, strain relief on the cables and mounting them and so forth. That's the front. Apparently we've got a very important chip under there. It's got, a, we've got its own heat sink. And that's the end connector right there. So those two holes there are just for um, alignment pins to make sure that uh, you can see all those those <laughs> sockets. So we want to make sure we hit the uh, the mating connector just right. So that's what those holes are for. For these for the alignment pins. So I'll set that down. Let's see if we can do this or not. So again, I'm glad they didn't screw this in because it's easy. You just take it, and pull it out. And I did do this yesterday and it was a little more, required a little more finesse than I thought. So I'm going to attempt this here on live YouTube. Well, not really live, but recorded. So it just slides in. There's a couple of little, uh, um, you see it's metal on the bottom. There's a couple of little rail guides here that uh, that go on top of this. Um, they go on top of this to align it in and hold it down and uh, make sure you're putting it in the right way. So I'm trying to do that while I'm talking. It goes in and boom, there it goes. Take the two thumb screws and secure those. Push to make sure it's fully seated. It is. And there you go. That's what the finished product looks like. It is inserted. So, yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's what's involved in uh, unboxing one of these switches. Um, well, the other thing I want you to do is put these mounting ears on. But uh, there's nothing special about that. They screw on on the side, just like that. So, anyway, so that's unboxing our, of our new 52, what is it, model number here exactly, 5250? I'll get the model number right. Yes, oh no, I'm sorry, see I've been saying it wrong the whole time. 5520, 5520, that's the model number, 5520, Dash four eight W. So, and it's basically these are going to replace. Let me show you what they're replacing. Um, we bought these because they're a little bit smaller than my X four sixties, and uh, they're going in to replace. Hang on, I've got one right here. Don't go away. I'm going right back. Almost there. So those are replacing my legacy C5 switches, what we call the black boxes. Um, and you can see 48 ports, just like the new ones, four SFP slots, which are built in, just like the new ones. Um, on these switches though, two of these SFPs are 1 gig and two are 10 gig. Um, these, these are very old switches, they're 10 years plus. Uh, C5K125-48P2 
is their model number. And uh, these switches are sold. Some of them are branded Extreme. Some of them are branded Enteresis, which is the, uh, the company that uh, Extreme Networks bought. I'll set that off to the side. So yeah, so the plan is to use these to replace those. Um, I've only got nine of these in right now. Um, we are expecting, I think, a total of 20. I think 20. Um, you can see these boxes over here are all the different um, modules that go in. And you can see I've got a lot of boxes there, so we're expecting a lot more switches. Um, and then, yeah, once, uh, once they all come in and uh, they're all put together and ready to go, we'll uh, get the configurations ready and start uh, selecting likely locations to do the replacements. Um, I, I will be happy. I do like the purple boxes. I, I love the black boxes. They're super simple. They're easy to use, but there's no support for them. They're not, they're not uh, sending out any more firmware updates or anything. So I do like these. I'm getting used to the command set. This is this has got a much better command set, I think, than newer Exos purple boxes. So uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be happy to retire the the older boxes. So we've got about um, slightly less than 20 locations because some of them are stacked. So so we'll have to stack some of these. So anyway. There you go. That's uh, that's the new switches. That's why we bought them, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted as we uh, as that project rolls out. So as always, thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if so desired, and uh, we'll catch you guys all next time. God bless. And where is it?